Good morning everyone. There's my fish bowl. We sell these in the shop. I think they're only a couple of quid, something like that. And um, I'm going to decorate mine because a lot of people don't know what to do with them. You can do a little scene in them. Uh, you leave them as is, use them as a fish bowl because that's what they're supposed to be. Or you can actually decorate them. Now they do have like a seam. And sorry about my hands, I've been using some plaster and that. Uh, so I'll get that off in that on be better doing that but what I'm going to do with mine is I'm going to first of all use some acrylic paint oops I'll turn my little tab thing over give this a good shake and we're going to do it like this I think come on paint you will work. Ugh. Why is it take so long to come out? I have no idea. Ugh. Is that blocked or something? Could be, could be. Let's just have a look at this. Yes, of course, it's bloody blocked. Why wouldn't it be? Ah, now, I'm not sure whether that's the problem. Oh, I think it was, yes. <sighs> anyway. <sighs> Let's get this going. <sighs> oh. And now I can't get the bloody lid back on. Oh, you bastard, look at that. <sighs> right, we're going to have to paint it from there. Look at that. Because it was blocked. <laughs> I've got one of my uh, dobbers. And it may have a little bit of colour on it, but I'm not fussed. So, let's just do this. And we're just going to cover the whole vase. The whole thing. And get that bit off and all. Now, it's going to leave like a stippling effect on it. That's great. I knew that was going to happen, and I still went ahead and did it. Isn't that weird? Or oh, silly, should I say. <laughs> Rather silly of me, because I knew it was going to happen. Now I'm going to put a false, um, like a felt thing on the bottom side of it, so I'm not fussed about that. Yeah, like that. Very nice. Love it. Isn't that nice? I think I'm just going to go around the edge.
and I'll have to leave that to dry. Although I could try. I don't want it to start melting on me, that's the thing. I'll give it a quick blast. But I'm going to leave that to dry on its own and I'll be back. Right, I'm back. Now my me uh, next stage, um, I'm going to paint the bottom section and we're going to paint it in this um, home deco paint, which is a pink. I can't see it, it's too small is the writing. But I'm going to paint everything from that line below. So I do have to just... Um, Just go over everything, basically. And like I say, anything can be glued down. It's uh, not a problem. I will be going over some of these flowers anyway. And um, they won't be staying this, uh, that colour. Oops, see how that lifted off? And we'll stick it back down, but um, we're going to get that. I'm not fussed at all about it. And yes, I do paint over wet clay. There's no rule to say you can't do it. Maybe the old-fashioned ways of being taught what not and what to do, what to and what not to do. I always do it. It's never hurt any of my projects. Right, so I'm just going to start and do these flowers. Uh, I don't need to do the top because that's going to be white. I'm just doing these couple here. The rest will be done white. There we go. That looks even better now. Yeah, we'll do the top later. 
Oh, I can do it now and then it's done with. And then I can let it all dry. Now the one colour that I want to do is this, which is a, a nice pink. But I don't know whether I want to do that now. But I always do pink. Why, why don't I do one of these for a change? We could have like a red, couldn't we? Let me see what I've got because I'm not sure. I've got all different ones. Right, I've got some colours. Uh, I'm not quite sure because I need to change that because I'm always doing the same I want to do something totally totally different so let's pop that back in there so I have some nice colors I've got a pearl one for the top I want to keep that white so I've got a pearlized for the top which that I'm fine with that I don't need those now I've changed my mind about them Right, not sure about that. Here's a dusty rose, which will do for the roses. Folks, what I'm doing now is um, I've got the base coat on and the colour of all the flowers. Right now, I'm going to use I'm going to do the base of this, the bottom section in this um, rose colour. So right now, I'm just going to paint over the bottom section, and then I'll work my way through with a fine brush. So I'm going up as far as I can from the bottom up, you know, like up to that section and then I will work through it with a different brush to get in and out of the nooks and crannies.
that's why I put the base coat on because at least um, it's easier for me to go over uh, if I go over should I say that I can um, just touch up later on each flower is quite thick enough in depth for me to be able to get a nice tidy brush in it sort of thing So yeah, I'm not fussed about this at all. Uh, and the idea about these sort of things is that you have to learn and learn anyway. Yeah, that's part of it. <laughs> I couldn't think of it was then. And this will all scrape off, so I'm not fussed about that. Stay on, mate. Like I say, come tomorrow when it needs to be varnished, anything that's not glued down or it's, if it's coming off, it's not dried on there properly, we just take off and glue on normally. But I'm losing the natural daylight of what I can see to enable me to see it properly, so... Not fussed about them whatsoever. There. I am going to go over that with the other colours, like I said. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. I love that colour. And I think that's going to need another colour, so I'm going to do that later on. Do you know what? We might just as well use this up, because I don't want to put it back in the pot. And we'll fill that up. There's not enough to go back in the pot, really. And because it's in a well, it's going to dry on its own. It won't need... It won't hurt it sitting on a surface. Right, so I need to let that dry and uh, we'll see what happens on the next stage. <laughs> Coming along. Thanks for watching. Take care and I'll speak to you all soon. Mm. I think that's going to look fab. Bye-bye for now.